what life would be like if you weren't poisoned by toxins, chemicals, pesticides, and everything in between? Without all that stuff inside of you that we consume on a regular basis, although you can't really tell because you're freaking poisoned, like all of us are, when you go to, like, a gas station or a store or a coffee shop or a gym or anything like that, instead of only talking to the people that you know or only working life through who you know, you would in fact just randomly talk to people all the time. So instead of like avoiding people, you know how on they say on Craigslist there is the misconnections and um, if you read that, it's all these insanely weird people that are like, I saw you on the train or I saw you on the bus and you looked at me and we had a connection and you had, you know, brown hair or whatever. Well, understand that if you weren't poisoned, there wouldn't be any misconnections. There wouldn't be any thing like that. Like, it would be the opposite. So we would all reach out to each other in, like, love and peace and harmony all the time. Free will. And not have all these insanely made up reasons of hatred towards each other. It would have never existed in the first place. Some people say it only exists because it was mentioned, but like go go one step beyond that. It only exists because we were poisoned. But like we weren't poisoned to like make exact specific things exist. We were just poisoned to generally um, lose touch with our own a potential reality and to deform our uh, state of mind. So people never really think about this, but if you weren't poisoned by pesticides, chemicals, toxins, uh, vaccines, whatever, who would you be? You know, like you think you would be the same person? You would just think the same, talk the same, walk the same, be the same person, reach out the same, no. This is done on purpose, and we don't notice. And so we seek out dopamine, we check our notifications, we, um, a lot of people seek after drugs and alcohol and medications. To the people that aren't into drugs, they're like, obsessed with nicotine and um, caffeine and then the people that are into nothing they gotta check their notifications all the time call people all the time you have to understand your dopamine receptors are always nothing you can do about it always chemically imbalanced they're always messed up they are always causing you to act irregular all the time. And your life has never been any different. It's like a dog that had to stay in a house his whole life, but didn't know that the neighbor's houses had dogs that were fed more regularly and treated better, had no idea, and also didn't know that not only was he fed less, but they were poisoning him and ended up cooking him and eating him one day, he had no idea. Now that, that's a little extreme, I apologize about that, but what I'm saying is we are domesticated, we don't know what it would be like outside of our house or outside of our world. We have never seen it because if we were domesticated by poisons and toxins, it has happened since the day we were born, so we never knew what life would be like. So why wouldn't 
sometimes you imagine what life would be like if you weren't poisoned. The air, the food, the water, and what they have cast upon us. We pay for it too. We work for it really hard, and then we pay for it. So they throw chump change at us for doing whatever job we do. We take it, and then we go to the gas stations, and to the insurance companies, and to all these places, and pay for it, and pay for the poisons. So just say that's to the extent of how dumb we are. 